I'm going to hit the recording uh, for this webinar. If some of you have to leave a little earlier, uh, you know, I don't urge you to do that, obviously, but uh, this is going to be recorded and put in a members area. We're expanding out the members area, and it's going to be free for you, so no worries there. Um, but at the end, I do have some bonuses and some downloads that will support uh, what we're talking about today. So, so stay with me here, and uh, I certainly appreciate it. We had about 60 people who registered here today, so it's a it's a smaller crowd, a little bit little bit smaller. But uh, man, I can see the attention is high, so I uh, appreciate you all very much. And um, this is all about WordPress, as I said. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how we. Uh, how we do this for, for uh, search engines, of course, but also for users. And uh, some of you all know me uh, from uh, prior webinars, and uh, some of you have come in through some of our advertising. You've come in through the website. There's some very exciting things that are happening on the, uh, the website, on the blog side. Uh, I'll be actually sharing more of that in the future webinars that uh, uh, simply you can use. And um, here's my new book, The uh, Optimizing Your Website from Entrepreneur. Uh, press the ultimate guide that is and uh, I went from white to black here uh, just because I had that picture available but anyway uh, I'm not going to talk about me too much today um, but uh, what I would like to have you do though is uh, as I said uh, return the favor if you can and just give me some feedback to what you'd like to see in future webinars so the agenda here is WordPress and SEO we're going to give you a quick overview nothing too uh, uh, too heavy on that because frankly you probably know a lot about it already um, and we are definitely going to talk about hosting and uh, how to configure and as I said there's some downloads coming and uh, the themes and plugins areas and yes if uh, some of you are fairly new to WordPress there's going to be a few technical matters uh, here uh, but you don't have to be a tech person uh, in fact uh, for you to be aware uh, you know, you being aware is a great, great thing uh, because you can ask the right questions and not let the tech people just uh, sort of pull wool over your eyes, even though they actually are the ones that might be doing the work in some of these cases. And and I often get this question, just wanted to make, uh, make that note. Uh, WordPress.com is the fully hosted version. You can set up a blog there for free and, you know, some great plugins and extensions. But uh, we're talking about the self-hosted WordPress.org uh, today. That is where you actually, you know, create a hosting account and install the WordPress themes and the WordPress uh, code base, and then you customize and extend it from there. So I just want to be very clear on that. Um, but WordPress.com is a uh, high, high authority domain, and it can be a very useful complement, as you've seen on the previous webinars, in terms of that authority domain stacking. If you recall, we spoke about that last time as well. So, uh, we're going to just take a breath here, and we are going to dive into this. And for some of you, you remember this from the last couple of webinars where we talk about SEO and link building and such uh, uh, beasts like that. We're going to really cover all of this today, but not in the detail that you're thinking, because we'd spend three days on that. This is obviously all fitting within the, uh, the hour or not obviously, but the hour is what we've allocated here, um, is uh, really to talk about this stack here. At the bottom, the user experience, the technical aspects, right? It's, you can almost think of this as building a house. You want that foundation to be strong, certainly. And um, you want the uh, doors and, and windows on there. You want the painting. You want the look and feel. You want the, uh, uh, the doorsteps. <laughs> you want the, uh, the street up to your house. Everything kind of just stacks up to a neat little package. And same thing here um, from the user experience to the keyword themes, the content, to the, the linking, the diversity of that. Of course, we spoke about that last time. Again, I'm going to give you access today, so watch for that to the members area so you can re-watch that and some of the downloads. You're going to get the slides as well. Um, but anyway, yes, at the top, social and, uh, and the importance of that. And um, as you probably know, there's a lot of uh, hype on the internet. There's also a lot of information to gather from all of this work. Um, what I'm going to give you is based on the work that we do and that we do for clients and, and also for ourselves and uh, invite you to that discussion. So without further ado, now that you kind of understand the pieces and how they connect, let's dive in just a little bit. Remember we spoke about the overview? Well powers millions of websites. Um, you probably knew that, 
but it's used by 60% uh, pretty much of all the websites that uh, content management systems out there, CMSs. And uh, I don't know what the total website is. I'm not sure if anybody actually fully knows that. Uh, but uh, we do know that it's a high, high amount from Katy Perry to Mercedes-Benz and many, 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 many others. Um, it is a profound, significant system that's come a long way since the early days when we started working uh, with it. Uh, and I know that several of you have WordPress already installed. Uh, some of the installs come straight out of your hosting company. Uh, some you may have done yourself, and some come through a combination of all of these, including having a web developer or designer customizing something entirely from scratch. So you might go through the whole process of, uh, you know, branding, positioning, and, uh, uh, and, you know, color schemes, and the entire aspect of a website design comes kind of in a Photoshop format, and then all of that is spliced up and divided into pieces, into elements that essentially becomes HTML and JavaScript and all the stuff behind the scenes that make up the site, and then eventually that all of that gets turned into uh, to WordPress uh, uh, code, if you will and the infrastructure that it supports. But a very significant system, and it's not going away. And for some, I know you're not on this call today, but just to be so you're aware, there's many, well, there's there's a whole group of naysayers, as there is to anything in life, that say that WordPress is, is not a sound system, has full of holes, it's security breaches, this and that. You don't want to listen to that conversation at all, right? But I, I also like to watch both of the sides of the communication so that we can be uh, be aware of what's going on. But a, a profound system that you can use. And I uh, found this out on, uh, I think it was Search Engine Watch, but I liked it because it fits very well into what I call the SEO world, right? Uh, we saw that previous slide with the infrastructure stack, you know, from the bottom to the top with social at the top. Well. If you think of SEO and how it ties in to what we're working on here today, um, it's it's kind of like a cake. And I know my wife would like this because she's a cake designer. And um, uh, I forgot one second here. I'm going to turn off the good old email here. Hang on one second. This is uh, my mistake. I keep telling everybody, get focused. And uh, here I am just uh, basically messing up. Um, so uh, let me take care of that. One second, everybody. And that's, uh, that's how, uh, see, that's how the players play or not in this case. Okay, so we're, uh, we're back here. And uh, there we go. Uh, hit me a one here real quick again if it's all good, if you can see it. Just uh, punch a one on the keyboard, and I'll, uh, I'll be comfortable and uh, cruising forward with that. Yes. Brandon, you're fast on the keywords, my man. Awesome. And uh, Jeannie and Orke and Michael. Brandon, yeah. Just uh, rocking and rolling. Hey, good, man. Okay. So um, that cake is uh, not very delicious in that picture, but uh, the idea is sound, right? The infrastructure, the platform. Notice the CMS here, right? Content management system. That would be your WordPress and the information architecture, which is a fancy name for navigation, the content, all of that. And of course, this at the top, the icing on the cake, is uh, all about the links. And here we have an ugly cake, and here we have a pretty one. Well, uh, stuff on the right is what my wife actually does. Pretty cool. Uh, don't know how she does it, but um, it looks very cool uh, in the end. But uh, here on the left, uh, that's also a cake. Well, we want the right product on this side. We want this to still be stacked in a very orderly fashion. We don't want to just slam this together. Now, uh, you as business owners, uh, you, you know which picture serves you here, but you're busy, right? And you can't always attend to all these details. And so we want to stack up the cake correctly for you. We want to build it. We want the product to be beautiful. And it wants to be beautiful not for search engines alone, meaning the bots, that's basically the software pieces, but also visitors, right? So you get that engagement, stickiness, and again, you, you'll see that in the members area. Uh, for some of the previous videos that we went into some detail about that. Uh, but I thought this was just very illuminating. It puts it really into perspective for, uh, for us. So uh, think about that for a moment. Now, to take that a little bit further, what search wants, I put that in quote, quotes, but it's really search and users, right? 
is they want that content. They want to consume and gobble up and, and spider up that content as do users in terms of solving problems and sharing information, uh, education, entertainment, all of the, uh, all of the above, uh, which blends into topics, keywords, and, and certainly context, right? Uh, speed becoming a bigger and bigger issue um, in terms of, you know, slow performance. Uh, you know, you might have a nice website and it's ranking and it's driving some traffic, but it's just not, you know, high performance, right? It's, it's just dragging. You may have an overhead that is in uh, your website that is a technical issue that you may not be aware of. It may be a hosting issue if you're on a, on a cheap host or if you're on hosting a service that is not very dependable, etc. Uh, so you want that authority and trust always, always center. Um, you notice probably out there you've seen it. How come I do this, but brands do do uh, almost the opposite or do nothing and they rank and they show up for all kinds of stuff? Well, brands are giving a, a free pass almost in Google um, for search engines. So you need to really focus on building your own. And the way you do that, of course, is watching previous videos in this series, but also by building authority and trust, which is what users see and get, right, from the, your WordPress and your content installs. Uh, and also from um, from links and partnerships and and many many other things, but uh, that's just very brief. Uh, and of course, always critical. You want users to engage with your site, and you want them to have a pleasurable, friendly, useful experience. And um, we we sort of see patterns of Google uh, responding well to this. We know users are obviously uh, all of us humans. We like a nice experience uh, in life, but certainly online. And so we can engage with that content, but it's very helpful. So these four criteria here, if, if you did nothing else, right, as you walk away today, that you take your WordPress install and really review where do you sit on all of these four and pick one of them and work on that, uh, that would be a good exercise. And I would probably actually start with something simple, which very often can be the speed aspect, you know, getting into that whole content discussion, eh, longer exercise, right, authority, trust, longer exercise, user experience, all of that, the engagement, you may be able to tweak a few things, but normally this gets into a bigger exercise, but fixing your speed issues and making your site rock, great place to start. So, hosting options, remember we talked about that at the top, we're going to cover it. Here's some that we are using and some that we have used. Uh, actually, I think there's one we have never used, but it's on here because it's uh, well recommended in the community. Is Liquid Web, but uh, we have, we are actually using all of these right now: <laughs> Bluehost, Namecheap, HostGator, Host9, GoDaddy, uh, SiteGround, WP Engine. A lot of clients use WP Engine, high-end, uh, highly sophisticated. A little more more on the expensive side, uh, but uh, you should definitely take a look at that. We uh, actually one of my personal sites is hosted by SiteGround. Com. That is a great starter place, uh, you know, highly valuable resource for hosting. So definitely check out SiteGround. Some of the other ones you're familiar with, I'm sure. Some of you may not know that Namecheap actually has a hosting option. That's a DNS, you know, um, a registrar essentially. But uh, they have hosting as well, and uh, we're, uh, we're happy with it. And uh, when we talk about WordPress, we immediately talk about, you know, not only the, the hosting and the, the infrastructure and kind of the, 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 the base, base of the house, right, the, the sound foundations, but, you know, what are we looking at in terms of look and feel? You know, WordPress has this notion of themes. Uh, sometimes you'll hear the word skins, uh, you'll hear templates, and essentially those are just dressing on the code base. So you can have a nice uh, interface that comes almost out of the box. Uh, WordPress, when you install, depending on the hosting company, will have a number of these out the gate, right? But often you get to choose your own, or you might ask a designer to help build it for you, as I said, uh, or you can choose some from, uh, from the arsenal. For instance, uh, uh, Bluehost, they have an open marketplace where there's a lot of options to choose from. But uh, you do have themeforest.net, you have Elegant Themes, you have Woo Themes, you have Studio Press. There's many players in this area. And also there's some very specialized ones that are very sort of, uh, let me just say, direct response, you know, lead generation enabled. Uh, I actually forgot to put Optimize Press on here in that regard. Uh, we use that too. 
very very cool, very useful, and uh, very sort of user slash admin friendly, right? Uh, definitely want to uh, uh, to uh, uh, take a look at this. Let me just stop here because uh, I see there's some uh, some great questions here too. But um, what are you all doing in terms of the themes? Do you have any preferences for themes? And let me just ask you if you have a preference for free free slash open source themes, or is there any on this list or outside of this list that you're using? So either free themes or custom-made uh, themes. Uh, let's see what you all have here. Okay, feel free, punch it in. Love it. Uh, okay, here's one. Uh, Brandon says, in-house web designers. Yeah, see, that's a perfect example of what I was saying earlier. You basically take and design custom uh, layout structures, you know, wireframes, essentially, and then develop from there, which is awesome. Uh, probably use it for uh, development externally, etc. So that's that's great, Brandon. Appreciate that. And um, uh, one system here, which is yeah, there you go. Kevin came in right as I was thinking. A Genesis, uh, G E N E S I S, is a fantastic uh, platform slash framework uh, to be using. Uh, yeah, with child themes, uh, that's perfect, Kevin. Thank you so much, uh, Brandon. Yeah, custom. Uh, here we have Kevin. Again, talking about uh, web developers, yes, 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 yes. Open source as a base. Thank you, Jason. Uh, that's how to do it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, actually, you, you're you're great. We have a lot of clients who just want to set up some simple, you know, three, four, five sort of microsites, etc. Great to to start with a basic theme and then style it from there. Not familiar with Pro Styler theme. Uh, okay, Sienna in Sweden. Awesome. Uh, good one. Um, Okay, which one is the lightest for speed? Uh, okay, we're going to take, uh, hey Jeannie, yes, you're back. Thank you so much for that question. We're going to handle it towards the end, but uh, I, uh, I like the question. You're talking about speed there, yep. Yeah. Uh, open source, responsive theme, Michael, child, child themes, yeah, great. Man, there's some pros on here today. Um, okay, so Jeannie, we're going to get back to some of your points here, and we have... Uh, Miss Amy, you are using ThemeForest. Yeah, we uh, we love ThemeForest, and uh, it's brilliant. Uh, Pro Styler theme. Okay, so okay, he from uh, from uh, the, the my man in Sweden was talking about Pro Styler theme. It's new today. Um, Amy, uh, again here. Let's see. Uh, yes, Innovado, flexible theme, lots of options, page length. Great. Woo Canvas, Mr. Steve Henry, PhD. Wow, we got some real players. I I actually know Steve, so <laughs> that's uh, that's cool. And uh, yes, Jeannie, we'll we'll get back. So, well, thank you so much for that awesomeness. Um, there's clearly many options in this area. Uh, as a technologist myself and kind of a somewhat geek, this is where you could really again geek out, and you might uh, get into that classic and that analysis paralysis mode of. Man, there's so many good ones. I don't know which ones to use. Uh, what's the best option for me, right? I, I like the option of a basic theme, uh, kind of developing from there. But it really depends on where you're at. Uh, we have a client that just received $40 million in venture capital. You know, they're not going to throw a, a, a simple theme out there and just throw stuff on top. That comes through a design company, and we actually go in and develop it. So it's a whole different process, right? So you have... You have small, medium, and large enterprises, clearly. Uh, but this is this has been a great discussion. Thank you for, for sharing all that. And um, so skin and templates, very, very important. Um, and uh, we are going to cover uh, the first bonus that uh, you all are going to get here. You may, some of you may have received an email on this already. Uh, but this is one of the starter plugin lists. And a plugin is different than a theme for WordPress. A plugin is really a, a software extension you know, or an expansion. You'll see this out there in terms of a certain functionality uh, that uh, uh, you know exists today that you need to extend. You know, uh, perhaps you have a a simple form. Um, let's see here. We had an issue here. Uh, some technical thing came in here and blocked my window. Can you believe it? Okay. <laughs> I guess we can believe it because it happened. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's a, uh, I know what it is. It's, uh, 
it, sorry guys and gals, it was a uh, it was a, uh, a disk imaging fixing software thingy <laughs> that came up. It's actually pretty cool. It's called a re-image. But uh, anyway, so uh, we're going to give you this if you haven't received it in your email, which is the uh, plugin list. This is one that we use to start, um, and it's a free download. Um, and it's a little hard to type that URL in right now. But we're going to, if we have time, we're going to cover some of this here today. I'm going to load it up for you. Uh, but uh, you, you'll get that. And what I wanted to say about this is that if you have a certain functionality now, let's say that you have a, um, you know, let's make a simple example. Let's say you have a input form that you'd like to extend by having a little more sophistication around, you know, trapping for the correct email or phone number. Clearly, there's, um, you know, plugins that you can buy for this. Uh, there's a whole slew of them out in the open source community. You also have, you know, something like uh, we use Gravity Forms as well. Uh, it's a paid service with a lot of extensions and, and uh, you know, ability to connect out to, uh, you know, email providers and integration and things like that. But really, the idea that you can take WordPress and extend it via plugins is a powerful one. And there's a whole community, a directory, essentially, where plugins and themes, uh, as themes do, plugins do as well, right? So there's a lot that can be done there. If you're not technical, it's, it's hard to to do this, right? You need a developer or you need to either buy a service that uh, fits your need uh, or again uh, work with your developer either internally or, or externally. But uh, uh, if we have time here, as I said, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and review uh, some elements of this list and we are creating this, this starter list is version 1.0, the version 2.0 is coming. Uh, we're actually also going to be providing all the links to the downloads directly. Uh, so you can get that. But uh, very important to think about this, the themes, uh, the various options you have there, and the plugins. And of course, now that we've shared a lot of the technical aspects, always good to just take a breath and uh, punch a two on your keyboard there if this makes sense so far. Does this, does this sit well with you? Does it make sense? Uh, uh, yeah, man, there we go. Two, two, twos. Twos are flying in. Yeah, love it, love it. Keep it coming. Yeah, so this this makes sense. Yeah, that means we're on the same page. That that's great. That's awesome. Thank you. And if you've been on any um, previous webinars, you've seen this slide before. I just uh, love it. It's just uh, peaceful and kind of gives you a moment to breathe before we dive in. So let's do exactly that. So I have a two-step approach here to what I call the WordPress search kingdom, right? And when I say search, we, we, uh, we had as our topic today WordPress and SEO, but we know this is all about users, right? So when I say search kingdom, it's really the, the, the uh, uh, sort of the pillars that you're building to get that house established to really invite your guests, right? So come on in, let's, uh, let's have some good food and a glass of wine or whatever suits you. And uh, hey, they'll be ready to come back too, right? Let's say get seriously liquored up and yeah, out the door and never come back, right? But uh, you get my drift here. So, um, and and again, as I said, a little bit technical, but not too much here because some of you already know this. Some of you already do this for a living. Uh, some of you who don't have an opportunity here later to find out how we can we can help with some of that. But really, uh, a very simple approach, but very a very effective approach uh, is this: make sure that you have. Once you have your WordPress installed uh, with your hosting company, uh, that you set up your URLs, really is your web addresses, right? So homepage.com forward slash uh, my simple product dot forward slash whatever, right? So you basically can do this with what's called permalinks inside WordPress. And this gets into the discussion of infrastructure, kind of your navigation. If you are ready to build out or, or have built out a publishing uh, you know, like say a magazine or a news uh, type uh, uh, website, you could break this down into categories, into dates. There's many ways to, to do exactly that, but you don't want a non-friendly URL like P equals one, two, three, right? We really want this to be friendly addresses to search engines uh, so that we can get, you know, the proper URLs built, uh, keywords, etc. but also 
that users can bookmark them easily, that they can forward, email, print them out, all of that good stuff. So that's really the, the first one that we do. And again, I, I said this is a st simple step, one, one through two here. We're going to cover page two here in a second. This is not uh, end-all, be-all. There's a lot more to it. But uh, we're going we're gonna to cover at least the basics here. The SEO plugin, again, we're going to talk about which one is best on that list if we have time uh, towards the end here. Uh, but you want that. You want to install, install the XML sitemaps plugin. Uh, again, that list provides all of that. And these are free, by the way. Uh, there's a security plugin, and there's a social widget plugin, and there's a redirect and 404 management plugin. 404 is just a fancy word for, um, you know, page not found, uh, and it's a, what's called an HTT response code. I'm going to take a quick sip of water here. And um, <clears throat> all of these um, are very helpful to start. Um, but we want to make sure that you set them up correctly, that you... Uh, essentially, as I put at the bottom there, uh, sort of search compliance, right? We don't want that duplicate content. We want to make sure that the robots, when they come visit, actually are indexing, you know, first spidering and then indexing the right pages. And um, there's, uh, there's many ways you can get into trouble here. In fact, uh, if I was to just pull a random 100 WordPress sites from, from clients out there and go through and check this list for duplicate contents and indexation, it's probably going to be, unless they were done by professionals, we're going to see a very high rate of issues. And we deal with this all the time, uh, very often. And uh, the truth is, again, if you're not an expert, you don't know what you don't know, as the expression goes. But you're not sure what to do. Uh, you would never actually know this. Uh, we do it, as I said. Uh, but this, th these things that you're looking at here in this duplicate uh, content uh, uh, kind of area, is a serious issue for search engines, and we don't want that to happen to you. So doing this correctly, clearly very important. Uh, let me see. I saw a quick question come in. Where was that? Um, yeah, I wish I go to webinar. We clean this up a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there it is. Yes. Could you talk about migrating static HTML site over to WP? Great question. That that will definitely cover at the end as well. Perfect. Yeah. And if if you think of something as we go. Um, just punch it into the chat, chat box. I'll be able to go back uh, if I uh, uh, if we have well, we'll have time for that. But I'll be able to go back and uh, and address it. So uh, that's step number one. And again, top level. Uh, I know you have questions about this, but uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, important. So uh, steps to your kingdom two of two. So now that we sort of have that foundational stuff in place, right? We need to have a process in which we can get some content pushed out there. And that uh, screenshot below there uh, it looks like a calendar. It's because it is. <laughs> but that one there is an editorial calendar plugin. This is just such a great tool for those of you who are uh, not, not perhaps the number one on the organizational priority, but also, frankly, for putting yourself in a little bit of a, um, uh, how should I best put this, you know, basically push yourself, right? So if you install that plugin, it ties in uh, directly with your posts. Uh, really, once you add a post here, it goes into draft mode. All you need to do is put in a title and maybe three or four bullets of what you want to cover and then pick the date. That's going to allow you to see it on the calendar to be able to map it out and start writing that content. Now, that is for the less organized, right? This sort of, sort of forces you and helps you. And you may decide that, you know what, this is such a great idea. I'm going to do this each Thursday or maybe each Friday, and I'm going to punch this in for, for four Fridays in a row, and I'm going to pick the topic for that. And it could include a, um, uh, what do I call it, sort of a week wrap-up uh, for your industry. Uh, but this is where you get to take your experience, uh, some of your research, uh, see what people are uh, needing and wanting in your industry, some of the problems that you're trying to solve, and then get those in there. And again, uh, previous videos I talked about, you know, kind of this notion of an evergreen piece of content that, you know, is, is, is good today and is good five years from now, right? You can get a lot of leverage for that. Um, the uh, the 2,000 words uh, is kind of an average, but uh, research and, again, uh, 
today. I'm going to give you access to the members area. You'll see some research and some statistics that talk about this. But these are averages. We, uh, we have one client who had 8,000 words on the services page. They rank for all kinds of stuff. But here's where people sort of freak out a bit. Uh, hey, love this content, love this calendar idea, but uh, there's no way I'm going to write 2,000 words for, for each Friday, right? Well, you don't have to. The idea is that you're serving users first, search engines second. That is always the rule. Um, so if your users are wanting tips and insights and maybe a more FAQ-based type of content, then you can create that. The 2,000 words plus bit is all about search engines and what they're liking to see. The, the research that I referred to a minute ago uh, was based on sections of various, various verticals where they pulled uh, uh, really a study from what are the top ranked pages in these verticals and how long is that content? Well, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, uh, kind of the ranges, right? And that the upper echelon of that had more content. And so very, very interesting, right? And it makes sense. Why does it make sense? Because it creates authority. Now, if it's, if it's just garbage, meaning <laughs> spun content and, and things that don't make, that's not going to be helping you, at least not for the long term. So they, uh, they just want great, uh, great information that's helpful and, and useful. So uh, let me uh, flip over here to my screen. I, I, I'm, I'm reading from my, uh, my slide here, and I, I see at the side of my eye here that there's some content coming in here. Hey, there's one from, uh, from Kevin. Hey, uh, there's one from Brandon. Man, there's some great content uh, or some great questions here. And, um, yeah, Amy has some great points. So I want to really call out that as well. Brendan, I'll get back to Kevin. Yeah, just, uh, uh, just great comments uh, and feedback and questions. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover that. And um, actually, I'll address Brendan really quick. You talk about the six to, to 700 range in words. Yes, uh, kind of the, the, let me say, old school uh, SEO was in the 300 to 500 you know, sometimes you'd see the 500 to the 800, depending on which forum or where you read it. Um, it's too bad that that sort of was put out there. I think I, I caught myself uh, or tried to catch myself in that. We all sort of sent out similar messages. Uh, but in fact, it's really based on the users, right? Uh, because if you're serving the users and, and, uh, and landing deals, you're closing, uh, you know, service offerings and selling products, uh, that's what matters. Uh, but you need to consider in this new 2015 the idea that more words on a page will really rock in, in search and that you think about perhaps developing such a piece once a month or once per two months that you pull together resources, maybe put a little extra dollars into it and, uh, and, and have a, a you know, kick, kick ass basically content piece that, uh, that speaks of volumes for authority. Uh, and trust. Uh, keyword research, of course, central there. The content schedule, as I mentioned. And while this is good, uh, we also know that having a great infrastructure, having a great theme, the great user experience, you have a high-performing website, the speed, you know, all the things we've covered so far, uh, it's just great. Well, it really doesn't, and, and even this keyword research, right? Uh, I get this a lot too. Hey, Jan, I've done, I think I've really done a good job on my keyword research. I I have not been over-optimizing. I'm not trying to spam and be weird about the, the keywords and that it reads sort of for search engines, not humans, et cetera, et cetera. But still, I'm not getting any traction. You know, it's very little traffic coming in. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of having problems, <laughs> essentially. Well, the, the idea that you have something good is, uh, you know, I'm a guitar player, right? So if I'm a, if I'm a great guitar player, which I'm not, but uh, I can hold my own, if I'm sitting in the basement playing guitar and I'm not sharing my, you know, creativeness to the world, uh, I'm not helpful. I'm not helping myself either. So we need to get distribution, syndication, and, and publishing and visibility of that uh, uh, information. And that's what I'm going to cover next. Um, so uh, let's see here. Uh, Brandon, yes, dude, totally cool. Appreciate it. Uh, great questions, by the way. We're, we're going to cover more. And... Um, as I said, keyword research, very central to all of this. But if I, uh, if I was in your room right now when we're talking about what kind of content we should create, the first thing I ask, you know, this is kind of my default, and you'll hear me talk about it again and again, is 
if you were to put together a top 10 or top 5 or top 20, pick a number, what are the top 10 things people are asking, meaning your customers, your prospects, that you get all the time, right? Well, you could look back, you know, the last five minutes, depending on what kind of business you're in, the last five months or the last five years, yeah, I can tell you exactly the thread of questions that we get, and here they are. Okay, question number one is, one, two, three, answer is four, five, six, right? So there's your first sort of strategic positioning for content. Now, some will say, well, that sounds more like an FAQ. Well, it is, but actually you can take this content and create posts from it. Uh, you should log into the members area, as I keep referring to, and see how you do this by come up, coming up with some innovative, fun titles that, uh, that speaks to it. And uh, that keyword research, by the way, that helps support it uh, once you have the top 10 uh, or the top 5 or top 20 is by going into Google and see are people actually, what are they typing in when they ask these questions? So you type in some of the questions and you see what Google is returning. At the top there, the top arrow uh, is the suggest area, suggested uh, Google suggest essentially. Um, that you can use. And, and by the way, I didn't put that in the slide, but there's a uh, new function I just heard about, which is an underscore, which is a wild card. So if you t type in here, teeth space, whitening space, tips, and then an underscore after that, you'll actually see additional elements of that search in a wild card fashion. So you've got to play with that a little bit. It's uh, brand new that, um, that I came across, by the way. At the bottom, those are related searches. I mean, how awesome is this? We haven't even gone to the keyword tool yet for Google, uh, which is part of Google AdWords. We've simply now gone into Google and said, hey, I, I collected my 10 questions that people typically ask. I'm going to type it into Google and see what kind of related questions or terms exist. Now I'm going to see what uh, Google suggests on that, and I'm going to compile that information. And you know what? Out of those 10 questions, I could probably uh, put two of those out this month, two next month, or uh, you know, spread them out, right? And by the way, a question that comes up too is, hey, I can get that all done this weekend. Let's launch it on Monday. So you have 10 questions or 20 out in the same day. Not recommended. Spread this out, right? And get a schedule in place and then tie in your email marketing to this. So let's say it's every Thursday that you push out a tip or an insight from your awesome experience. Well, do that. Uh, try and keep it at the same time, right? Uh, you might want to try the morning time, right? Uh, and then push that out and then send it to your your email uh, list as well as spreading it out on social and all that goodness. And I'll share with you how you do more of that here in a second. Uh, but this is very cool. But again, I haven't tied in all the keyword tools. We have a freebie download of all the tools. Some are paid, some are not paid. Uh, but, uh, but you'll get that. And... Um, I saw another uh, couple of uh, things come in here. Yeah, there is Kevin. Kevin, my man. Yes, SEMrush is awesome. SEMrush.com. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's, it's perhaps a little bit pricey, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really a great uh, tool. SEMrush.com. Um, did a webinar with those guys uh, a few months ago. Uh, it's up on the site as well. Uh, uh, but, but really, I'm, I'm sort of almost, you know, at the very basic level, help you to think about not the tools initially, but how can I serve my community? Um, you know, what is it that they want? What is it that I'm missing on my site that I'm not providing? And what do I, uh, what do I do, get questions about a lot, like often, all the time? What are some of the threads that I'm seeing, some of those patterns? And oh, here I am on the phone again with a client or a prospect, and they're asking that question again you know what, I think I can do a better job with this. I'm going to answer the question, obviously. But then I can say things like, why don't you go to, you know, uh, amyswebsite.com forward slash things you should know, right? And that could be part of your blog. So blog, blog forward slash, right? And that is a great way to, great way to go. Um, and then we can backfill this by, uh, uh, by using some of the keyword tools and, and really do the, the right thinking about what type of content is it? Is it sort of tip of the week, a, a news wrap-up for the week? Is it a more of an evergreen post? Is it more one of those larger, you know, two, 3,000 word posts that uh, you push out every month or every two months? Um, that, that's uh, strategic decisions that, uh, that you have to make. But, uh, but essentially, uh, start here. Uh, I like to start here. And then 
uh, which I didn't show here, you have the ability to see what kind of ads show up. So you're getting a, a really a sense, uh, a pulse, if you will, of the market in your market and what people are asking. So, um, so that's good. I see some other things coming in here. Uh, yes, SEO cockpit is great, Miss Amy. Uh, and uh, that's a great tip from Amy to try and think what keywords I would search for and start from there. Couldn't have said it better. That's great. Appreciate that. In fact, uh, that's a great, great idea. The, the notion that not only do you take it from within sort of that psychological uh, environment, but you're you're trying to think about what is actually going on in the conversation of my prospects. What what what's going on in the marketplace? What would I search for? And then start from there. Uh, build it uh, build it out. So perfect, perfect. Awesome, man. And uh, again, you're going to get access to this. Uh, I just wanted to put those up there. Uh, if you go to that first URL, chaosmap.com SEO keywords, you'll get the, uh, the PDF download. And uh, here's the members' access to watch the previous webinars, members.chaosmap.com. We're actually changing that up, uh, but it's free now. It's actually going to be free for all webinar attendees for the foreseeable future. And we're going to be posting everything out there for you. Um, and so you can watch those previous ones. In fact, watching those helps tie this all together now that we're talking about WordPress and themes and plugins and content and keywords kind of on, a, on an actual platform. Distribution power. So as I said, uh, an awesome guitar player in the, in the basement or in the garage is not great if you're not seen. Um, if you would like to have this content of yours posted to 50 social networks all at once, Hit me up with a three, if that sounds good. And by the way, this is not a pitch. I'm just, uh, I'm just watching if you're listening here. But I know you are, so uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, three, three, three. Yeah, so this is a great, great tool, and it's free to start for uh, up to a certain number of networks. And then after that, I think it's like $10 a, a month or, or something like that. But essentially, uh, that was, uh, this is another one, by the way. But uh, this one is onlywire.com. Let me, uh, let me push that out there to, uh, to you. I just sent the URL right there, uh, onlywire.com. And uh, this works fantastically well. Uh, there's another plugin actually called Next Scripts, uh, which you'll see in the plugins area, that ties in directly to <clears throat> WordPress. Uh, that's nice, but I like this because it's sort of an outside management tool, and they add networks, um, not, not regularly, but... They do update them, and you can get them out there. Now, <clears throat> one of the questions that come up around this is, hey, this sort of feels a bit like the old directory spam. Just get it up there, a bunch of articles, the article directories, a bunch of these, just social bookmark. It has very little or low value. Well, the truth is, if you're not doing this on a regular basis and you're hoping for a sort of a home run, just I, I, pushed, I, I wrote a, a simple 300-word blog post on Thursday, I pushed it Thursday afternoon. I checked my my Friday traffic, meaning the next day. I don't see much here at all. Uh, that's not what this is used for, right? This is part of a strategic initiative in your content marketing plan. Uh, but it is one that allows you to take what you have, push it out there, and make it uh, more available, certainly on a, on a broader basis, but also as a schedule for you. Um, there's other tools out here, obviously. There's a Hootsuite. Uh, there's a Buffer. There's tools that can kind of help push out your content. I mean, you can actually set up things inside Twitter and Facebook that automatic, automatically pushes things out for you. Uh, and this space is full of other vendors, but onlywire.com is simple, it's effective, and it pushes out the content fast. You don't have to worry about it. And they have a plugin for WordPress, so when you push that publish button, the update button, in your WordPress post, it'll automatically go out and hit this. So you don't have to go and you know, let me now hit my Twitter, let me hit my Facebook, uh, let's go to LinkedIn and do my thing. Uh, it'll be done for you. And it gives you a status update on what's been done. Um, gives you also any login errors that may, may have occurred. So something really cool. Uh, and I saw somebody mention Snipply. Absolutely great for, uh, for driving traffic back more so than this. Uh, that's snip.ly. Who was that from? Uh, that was from uh, our master, uh, Master Kevin. Yes. Great tip, uh, love love Snipply. It's developed by uh, by by just just a guy that came up with a great idea. So, the power of uh, of tools, man. <laughs> so uh, so let's see. This one is one we have used before. We used it with clients. <clears throat> this is a paid service, but Outbrain.com. You see this? 
uh, out there and has wide distribution. Again, this is more uh, if you're really sort of building up a, a media or publishing area, although I will say that there's a lot of opportunity for niching down here as well. Um, so you might want to test it. And there's some free tools within that. They have a WordPress plugin also, uh, outbrain.com. And, uh, you know, this was just actually a sample that we took from earlier in the week, or maybe it was this morning, actually. <laughs> then uh, this is on CNN Money. So the article appears at the top here. And then right below the article is, you may also like, right, recommendation by um, Outbrain. And then this could be your article right here. You know, very powerful, a lot of traffic opportunities. And also, here's the killer, it's relevant, right, because they read an article about uh, the impact of uh, Michael Kors uh, uh, bags and um, the uh, industry of uh, high elite luxury XYZ. Again, just coming up with this on the fly. But uh, then this, this article uh, applies, right? So very, very powerful for amplification. Now, uh, I've talked a lot here, and we're up on the 50-minute uh, time frame. We're going to cover some questions here. But I uh, would like to just make a, take a moment to let you know, for those who are not familiar, that uh, uh, I uh, founded a company back in 2007. I've uh, been working with uh, many different clients, but uh, certainly in this sort of digital marketing space where we have uh, full done-for-you services uh, in this WordPress area. Uh, we also have uh, um, you know partners that we work with and designers. Uh, as well, and uh, we have training and coaching, SEO training, and uh, and some people like actually one-on-one -on -one with me, which I like too in, in certain cases, but it's not really scalable, so it gets uh, gets a little higher priced than perhaps some would like. But uh, I do have a webinar offer. Uh, there is no webinar without an offer of some kind anyway, <laughs> right? So if you'd like or if you have issues with this, uh, if you don't have anybody to lean on, uh, ask questions and, and kind of get this done, the auditing of your WordPress environment, uh, the plugins, the, the installation issues. You may be brand new kind of kicking this off or maybe done it for a while but know you need some help. Uh, it's kind of that, uh, that bum knee that needs to, to get some, uh, some repair. Uh, we do this uh, for uh, 197 on this webinar normally at that price, but uh, we'll do that for the first 10 here. Uh, today and if you're if you're number eleven, hey, we'll we'll talk to you. But we're we're trying to not this this is not where we as a company make our money, right? We make our money in services over over a longer period of, period of time or specialized projects. But we like to help, right? That's the key. And so I'd like to help and then get this going, um, which lowers the barrier a little bit that allows people to come in and say listen, I liked what I saw and heard. I think uh, I, I found value here, but I, I need some help. Um, we have we have referral uh, referral network as well. So, you know, if you wanted somebody to, to do this for, uh, you know, a lot less, uh, we can we can help you. Well, we wouldn't help you. We could refer you because I know for some of you, you know, cost is, is an issue. You're just getting started. Uh, we may not be a perfect fit in that environment, but we, again, certainly want to help. So you can just uh, shoot an email over. We'll get that at support at chaosmap.com and uh, WP optimization, then we'll know exactly what that is. And uh, we just provide a quick link for you and a request form uh, to do that. And uh, I have not really mentioned this before. I sort of take it up on the, uh, at the top level, but, you know, we cover SEO, search engine optimization. Uh, our programs vary. That's why I didn't put the pricing in here. Uh, but uh, it goes really... Uh, into a lot of different areas, but the core areas are SEO, AdWords uh, management, Facebook management. Facebook actually is coming up here on the webinar uh, next week, uh, which you'll see in a second, and that includes uh, retargeting and custom audience, a lot of cool stuff we're, we're doing in there, and uh, the content marketing area, which uh, we've talked about today uh, in terms of a little bit of that outreach and PR distribution. Uh, and um, I didn't put WordPress specifically on here, uh, but these are kind of the service areas. And when we talk about SEO, we talk about content, but we talk about optimization and links. We also talk about your CMS and hosting. So it is included in all of that. Um, and then uh, if you'd like to sort of discuss any of these areas, again, support at Chaos Map. Just put WP webinar on here uh, so that we know the difference uh, to that. Um, now, for some of you, and this has actually come up on the exit surveys, which is very cool, uh, the idea that there's other uh, agencies like web designers and, and firms that 
we don't necessarily do SEO, but we do outsourcing, right? So we become an outsourced partner and we white label with you so you get all the, the assets and the benefit and uh, we just partner up. So that's an option there. Um, and that is the overview. So as I said, uh, next, uh, yeah, I, I was correct, March 6th, we're doing Facebook advertising for beginners. And this is driven, by the way, from your awesome feedback that we've been receiving. Uh, what I would like to see, what what was good, what was bad, what was indifferent, what was, you know, the thing that uh, I'd really like to see in the next webinar. So please fill that out when you get it. I really appreciate it. But uh, that's, uh, that's kind of it, right, in terms of the presentation for today. Uh, but I'm going to go back and, and cover a few questions because you've been so great and gracious for hanging out here for for almost an hour today uh, let's see here it's 154 PST no less okay so let's see I'm scrolling back here um, alrighty and uh, I know you just like listening to me ooming and ahhing here uh, it's uh, it's just that silence doesn't work well on this it's like radio right if I went silent for even five seconds it would feel weird so I'm just talking to you uh, okay Jeannie said Cannot recommend Socrates. Socrates? So Socrates. I think I've heard of that one, but having a great trouble with the update. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll all be aware of that. Thanks, Jeannie, for sharing. Uh, which theme is the lightest for speed? Less add-ons that work well for GA. And I'm assuming that's Google Analytics. Uh, maybe not. Total by theme force. Yeah, we'll we'll have to take a look at that with you, Jean. Um, Jeannie. Sorry. Um, there's no sort of firm answer other than to say. The, the lightest theme that you can get is one that doesn't have any overhead. And I know that sounds weird, but there are themes out there that are like in the category of the term is minimalistic. So if you search for minimalistic themes, it'll be very basic, right? However, if speed is an issue, I would look at the current site and see what could be tuned. Uh, if, if that site is so, let me use the term, jacked up, because it's written by a non-reputable vendor or it has a lot of versioning issues and is not very well supported, it may be that you need to switch themes. Uh, really get back to what was my goal again by using my website? What, what are visitors trying to do? Well, it's certainly not hanging around for the website to load. But we'd also have to look at your hosting to determine what's happening in, the, in that area. Uh, and then also run some tests. There's a there's a tool called GT Metrics, G T M E T R I X dot com. You might want to run that. In fact, let me just uh, see if I can send that uh, out here. Uh, G T Metrics. That's just one of them. There's uh, there's many other tools here. Um, there's uh, there's one here uh, which is called Tools dot uh, ping dumb.com I sent that out uh, to you all um, but yeah those are uh, those are some great tools uh, let me see here um, questions questions so right could you talk about migrating static HTML sites over to WP and keep the URL structure uh, just HTML2 import yeah so that's a great great question um, Really, when we get into these situations, um, we typically use custom redirects. If it's it's literally sort of a domain one to domain two, and you want to keep the structure intact, uh, we can also use an XML export and then import um, to do it that way. Uh, but if it's static HTML files, um, it sounds like it's probably you know, HTML files are the ones that get generated to the to the screen to the user, but it's actually PHP and different code that's in the back. And we'll have to have to talk about that, Jeannie. Uh, I know you had sent an email earlier here, uh, so maybe we can. Uh, you know, if you we'll we'll take care of this if you want to, and the 197 will we'll handle all of this for you. We'll uh, we'll just get that done, okay? So there's uh, there's the 2,000 words uh, question. Uh, we covered that one. And, uh, oh, here's Kevin. Sorry, missed you. Almost missed you, buddy. Will Webmaster Tools identify duplicate content? No, it doesn't actually tell you, um, you know, like Webmaster Tools is, is Google's uh, tool, although Webmaster Tools is used as a general term for Google and, and Bing. Um, and the search engines, uh, sort of the idea that you can log in and get diagnostics and information. There's a lot of things you can glean from that. 
but it, it actually will not be a report where you simply run it and say, show me duplicate content, please. Uh, it, there's a the big, bigger exercise than that. Um, so the answer is no to that. Um, uh, Miss Amy, uh, you can gather content from other places to create your 2,000 words. Just be sure to give your credit to your sources. Yes, that is a uh, yeah, excellent point, Amy. Forgot to bring that up. See, that's why I have you here, so you can help me along here. <laughs> but that's great. Yeah, the idea of curation. Curation is just uh, the fancy word, but you know, Amy's, uh, to Amy's point, uh, very, very uh, great strategy to really build out your content. And uh, uh, scoop.it is a great tool for that. Uh, there's some other uh, uh, tools out there, actually. Uh, it's in that uh, the downloads that you'll be getting and the access to the members area will have, have all of those as well. Uh, and Amy's point here, well taken. Uh, they just want good information. It's, it seems so basic, right, Amy? But... You know, we all sort of get into this, uh, I just want to make money mode, and uh, I, I care less about, uh, you know, exactly what my user wants at this moment. Uh, they just want good info. And I, and I shouldn't uh, take sides and say we all just think about money. But, you know, in business, if we're not thinking about money, cash flow, and how to build our business from this to that, meaning from A to B, uh, we're not doing ourselves the service, right? That that would not be right, you know, not the ability to, to share our message or to share our products, not so good. All right, so, uh, hey, uh, here's one, uh, yeah, great, I'll, I'll, we'll take you up on the offer as well. Uh, here's another one, yeah, 197, absolutely, you can just uh, send that uh, that email over and we'll, uh, we'll send you the, uh, the forms there. And, um, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Kevin. Content Gems is very decent. I totally agree with you. And also one that uh, we use is uh, Feedly, uh, feed.ly, Feedly, uh, where we can go out and do research and add uh, RSS feeds to the blogs we're interested in and it automatically just feeds that information back out to you. So that's a great, uh, great tip, uh, Kevin, for, for that. Thanks for that. Um, so at the top of the hour, I know uh, we tried to... Uh, I, I, uh, I uh, tried to have enough time to walk through that plugins document, but it gets a little technical, and I want you to just have it and read it over, and you can submit questions back to, uh, uh, you know, if there's anything that you have questions about on that, we'll 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 get to you, and hopefully the the members area will uh, will help out as well. So, but uh, let me uh, let me fire this out there as a as a notion. Hit me up with a four if this has been useful and helpful and has sort of seeded some things in your mind on on things to take action on today. And uh, love the exclamation points. Four, 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 four. Yeah, awesome, I love it. That is great. Yeah, they heard some tools. Uh, yeah, there's some tools. There's always some tools, right, Kevin? <laughs> so, uh, so that's great, thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody, and thank you, Steve. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, I just have a lot of fun on these, and uh, you know, I have a great, uh, great crew on here. Um, which is you, uh, I just, I just have, a, have a ball with this. So we're going to do this uh, on Fridays, so I hope to see you uh, on the future Friday uh, SEO webinar Fridays, uh, because frankly, this is information you need. Uh, this is information that kind of gets stuck in, in-house too often. We share a lot of blog uh, content, and, and uh, you know, I'm featured out there on various magazines and, and outlets online, but this gets a much more sort of personal, interactive, mode, which I truly enjoy. So thank you. An awesome delivery. Wow. Very cool. Thank you for all you do. Nice. Um, so again, you'll, uh, you'll get access to this when the recording is available. It's going to be in that members area, as I mentioned. And feel free to uh, input that uh, survey. And uh, for any of you who need uh, uh, some help to kind of get this traction going, to the next level, then the uh, the 187 remains uh, available for the first 10. But uh, by Sunday, I typically cut these things off. So if Monday comes around and you wanted to do this, it's going to go back up to the 497 price point. Uh, but you know how these things work, right? This is for you to take action, for us to give you a little extra, uh, you know, juicy stuff that you can take action on as well. So. That's it. Uh, and yeah, there was a question about emails here. Uh, the idea is that you would email that uh, support at chaosmap.com and uh, just put in the subject line WP optimization, and then we'll see. Um, we get 
we get different links and different emails from so different uh, so many different places we want to make sure that we collect you in there so if you send that in there we're going to send you back the form that you need to fill out and uh, the pay link and uh, we're off and rolling um, but again this is going to be available to to, uh, to Sunday at midnight and come Monday it goes back up and that's how these things roll I'm sure you've uh, seen that before and uh, and that's a bit of that uh, sort of marketing and positioning. So let's see here if we have any more. I'm just going to go through and click really quick uh, on here on the questions. Uh, this has just, uh, just simply been great. I have covered all the questions. We've covered the presentation. So if there's nothing else at this time, I, uh, I want to greet you all from around the U.S. and all the way over to, to India. Uh, this has been great, and uh, watch for my email as well. Uh, we're going to be doing this again next Friday, where we're going to get into Facebook advertising. And this is for beginners. There's just so much about Facebook, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of courses and emails and videos. Uh, these are the things that we've learned the hard way. These are the things that we actually apply, and we uh, we wanted to give you an introduction, overview to Facebook. I just had a question yesterday from uh, uh, two people in the real estate industry that haven't had great luck with AdWords PPC, which is interesting, but uh, uh, they were very interested in Facebook. Uh, obviously, Facebook with, what, 1.3 billion people, pretty, uh, pretty exciting on there. A lot of requests, a lot of traffic, a lot of movement, and uh, a lot of cool things you can do. So... Anyway, that is Jan, and we are done for today. Thank you so much again. Have a great weekend, and wherever you are, take good care of yourself and yours, and we'll see you next Friday. All right. Take care. Jan out. Later.